So here we've got a Aprilia Tuono 1100 2015 model. So we'll just have a quick plug in just to uh, give you a quick run through and show you what's available on here. So it's a fairly modern bike here. Um, so software will open up straight to the faults. So it can just show you here that we had a fault. The bike's just been serviced, so a few things would have been uh, unplugged. Uh, and that just indicates that's in memory, so it's not a current fault. Uh, here we can see all the data that's available from the ECU. So we've got 59 parameters available on this particular bike in the engine section. Uh, so because of all that data, it does take a little while for everything to populate. The engine's running at the moment. So we're just scrolling through and can just show you a few bits of the data that's here. <clears throat> so you can highlight any of these. Press on the little question mark and that tells you a bit more about that sensor and what it does. lots of data here so what we can do because there's a lot of data if we're trying to look for a particular fault we can uh, choose the data that we want to look at so one thing that will do is help the data refresh faster and also just minimize the information that you're looking at to the things that are pertinent to the problem that you're trying to find or symptoms that you're trying to, uh, to use to diagnose an issue so we can just highlight the particular things we want. I'm just choosing some random information here. And you can save that as a name of a set of data. So you can use that again in the future to pull that up. So you might have a simple warm-up set up, for example, just as a, a diagnostic check run. So this is just the data we can see. So you can see it refreshes a bit quicker because there's only a few points of data. We can graph that information as well. So we can look at the battery voltage Quick check, make sure the charging system is working properly. Open and close the throttle, make sure the throttles are working properly. Uh, and we've got the RPM. We can also record data, so we can record as little or as much as we want. Um, so I've just recorded a few seconds of that. And then that button there is for a road test. Do that another time. So that data's now been recorded and we'll come back to that in a little bit. <clears throat> so here we have just statuses, so this is anything in the system that is either on or off, up or down, open or closed, clutch sensors, side stand switch, so here I've just selected the side stand, wandered over to the bike, flipped the side stand up, put it back down again and we can see that visually on the screen on the graph. Uh, and the clutch status, which I, I left that little window there unfortunately, but if you look at the clutch status you can see that says released and then pulled, and that's me pulling on the clutch lever so you can check that any switches are working quite easily. So that's all the information in there and the uh, statuses, ECU info, just general VIN numbers and ECU programming information. This is all in activation so each one of these we can activate the thing so we can activate the coil, activate the injectors just to check that they're all working. And then these are settings so these are areas that we can perform settings in the system. We'll clear that error, so that's stored in memory, just back to parameters. So because we recorded some data, when we come out of this connection, it will automatically bring up a screen with information to put in for the customer and the bike, so we can record this as a job in the software. So I've just sped this up a little bit just to get through the data entry. So this eventually can be printed out on a piece of paper with the data that we've recorded. We've completed that. We're then taken into a screen, so here's the information and the data. So we can view that data that we recorded and we can print it. So here's the data just viewed on screen. So we can scroll through that and then we can select operators. That's another function that I'll, I'll get through to another, uh, another time. We could do a print preview then, so this shows us how that would print out, so you can see my logo, that could be your logo and the data, print that out, hand that to the customer with uh, their receipt, uh, and uh, just shows that you've got the equipment to do the job. Thanks for watching.